Hi guys, welcome to NFI online video and in this video I'm going to introduce you three softwares which we are going to use in this video course to learn Allen Bradley PLC programming. Alright, so the software which we are going to use is RS Links, RS Logix and ITS PLC Professional Edition. Now RS Logix is the software which is used to make ladder logix and that software used to also transfer that ladder logic to the PLC. Okay, and RS Links is used to just connect your PC with your PLC. If you can see this symbol, it also says that used to connect connect your PC with your PLC. That is RS links to create a link. All right, logic is to create the letter and to monitor and control the program. Okay, so these are the two softwares, and this ITS we are going to use to simulate our programming examples. All right, this is a 3D software. By 3D, I mean you have highly audio visual interaction with the environment so we'll be seeing that how we can learn effectively and easily using ITS okay so first uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect your PC with a PLC okay so our wiring is already done which has been explained in the last video so once you open this RS links you'll have a window like that all right and you have to make sure your cable is connected so I'll go to our communication and configure driver this is you have to do just once while installing the driver. Next time you don't have to worry about adding this steps again. You just open your RS logics and work on your program. So for the first time you have to click this one and these are the different communication channels like how you have connected your PLC. If it is a PLC or if it is a HMI or if it is any other communication devices because this links is not only for PLC but also for VFTs, for Ethernet, HMI and for other devices you can see over here. All right, so our device is RS-232 DF1, DF1, so our communication is RS-232 between PC and the PLC. Communication with PC is 232. So click this one, then you have to press add new, okay. You can give the device name or I can write NFI, NFI, you can give any name you want. Press OK. Now you have to select your COM board. Now my COM board is COM1 in my system and rest this should be on the PLC okay if you're not sure about these these parameters just click auto configure and you will find a status says auto configuration successful it means it has automatically detected a PLC and configured as well so just click OK and you'll find here description NFI DH485 station 0 running so status running means your communication is successful you can also stop that if you want if you stop that now your PLC and PC are not connected PC and PLC although configured drivers are configured but it's not connected so you have to make sure it's start while you are or running while you are doing programming all right so this was a step to add your PLC if you are connected by 232 cable if you are doing it by Ethernet then we have to click on Ethernet and we have to add IP addresses for that I'll be uploading a separate video to explain you how to add Ethernet devices with RS links all right as of now this is 232 com communicated so click close and this close so our PLC is successfully communicated with PC next is you open RS logix so in RS logix 500 we make the letter logic in the PLC all right so let's see what we have inside that so to open that just double click this icon once you install this software okay so once you open this file you will see something like that this is a window in which we have to create letter logic programming so the first step is you have to go to file and new all right or you can also do from this icon this icon is for new click on this icon and you'll find this window it says select processor type we have to select the processor so here we can go to Micrologics 14, 1400 series A all right so click on this one and click OK so you'll find these two windows one is this one and another is this one here you can find different configuration options and to read the status of your inputs and outputs this is a window where you can create your ladder logics I'm sure you might be aware of this one so the first step is let's see what is already inside the PLC so we want to read the program from the PLC in that case you will go to this this icon here and there is a small drop down button here click on this one and click upload upload means to transfer the program from PLC to PC download means to transfer from PC to PLC go online is to monitor what is inside the PLC so before you do that we have to make sure our PLC is connected so for that I'll go to RS links once again just to make sure so you go to communication RSO and you'll find that PLC is already here 
this should be here okay so you can minimize this one next step is you have to give the path to the RS logics because this links may have so many BLCs connected to one system it can be BLC it can be HMI so this logic should be given a path so for that you go to controller properties and in the controller communication this driver should be selected as NFI which should be configured for MicroLogix 1400 select this one and now you can go to upload when you press upload it will ask you to save the changes you can press yes and you can save your file on the desktop and then you will click create new file okay this is going to read the processor status and its program and can going to show you here it shows you want to go online say yes so this is the program which is already inside the PLC if you are familiar with letter logic programming this is a normally open contact or you can say that examine if closed contact with the addressing i colon 0 slash 0 so this i colon means this is an input 0 slash 1 this is the addressing which means this is the first input of the PLC okay if you have extra IO modules connected it would have been i colon 1 slash 0 okay this is i colon 0 slash 1 if you see here it means this is the second input not the first first is i colon 0 slash 0 second is i colon 0 slash 1 all right so you have to see you have to know about the addressing as well so with this input we have connected an output it is o colon 0 slash 1 so o means it's the output slash 1 means it is the second output all right so if i turn on this input this will be on because there's a single ended input and output so you can do on you can do uh, you can turn on this input by two methods all right one is by physical input if you have a physical input connected to your PLC you can apply 24 volts to your input and 0 volts to your common and this will be on if you want to do using a software you can click force on this will turn on the input and the ladder logic will be solved which will turn on the output and you'll find here small on you know written in the red color this means you have done forcefully on if you remove the force this will go away thus forcefully on indicates that you are controlling the inputs from the software okay if you turn on it using a physical input this will not show a red something like that on and also if you do forcefully on you will see forces installed this is a status here again remove the forces all right so this is how you can monitor the PLC program in the RS logics and you can also control that by forcefully turning on and off okay so this was what we read from the input what we did from the input so go to the offline now let's say we need to make some changes in our program and then we want to write the value wait a second so instead of i colon 0 slash 1 I'm going to change the input to i colon 0 slash 0 which is my first input so I'll just change this one I'll change that to zero okay then you press enter and you can add any symbol if you want in this case in this case I'm writing a which is my first input all right now if I want to turn on the output zero the first output I'll change that to zero and I can give the address as symbol as X okay this this is uh, a symbol which you can give to memorize what is this input okay this is a and this is X now I have to download this logic in the PLC in that case I'll go to download okay press download and press yes and it is downloading that once the program is downloaded you can also go to run mode and online mode to monitor that so this is my first input and first output you can go to forcefully on and this will turn on so that's how you turn on and off the input and output using software now if you want to monitor the status besides this green light here here over here you want to monitor the status in some data table you can go to this data files in the output click on that and here you will find this last this is o colon 0 slash 0 and this is the symbol x this is 1 because PLC understand binary logics 1 and 0 so this on means it's 1 and if it is off it will be 0 so the next status is the status of first second output 1 this is 0 because this output is off so if I remove the force this is off again if I want to monitor you will find this is zero so similar in case of inputs as well if I turn on the input you will find input this is one and this is red red means it's forcefully on that's why and one means it's on so if you remove the force this will go away okay so this is about reading and writing the program 
in the PLC using RS Logics and the software. If you have any question, you can pop me a comment. I'll get back to you. And if you see this is running, it means your PLC is successfully communicated with the PC. All right. Thank you.